Right, here we are back over the hazardous, out with Ian Grant, licensee, and today we have Rodrigo. We're over the 2014 gun sight, which is part of the hazardous site, uh, and it's called the 2014 gun sight because we found it in 2014. It's 11 guns, isn't it? Yeah, it's a group of 11 guns, and we think this is close to where it would have originally struck bottom, um, and 11 guns were went over the side, so we think the ship actually broke up a little bit and lightened and um, moved full northwards another 100 metres where we find another group of, well we've got 10 guns and that's called the 2019 gun site. And today what we want to do is do a bit, a bit of a search between the two, two gun sites because we think there's a debris trail. Well we know there's a debris trail sort of halfway between the two back to 2019. And what we're going to do today is, is go from 2014 to the halfway mark. So we're going to lay a line, do a little bit of metal detecting, and obviously visual uh, searches too. The sandy seabed meant one of two things. Either the shot was far too south, or the 2014 gun site was now buried. It would turn out to be the latter. From the shot, I travelled north and came across some bar shot. Bar shot, also known as double-headed shot, was made of wrought iron. And it was capable of smashing through ship's hulls and also taking down masts and rigging. This was one of two new guns found between the 2014 and 2019 gun sites. This appeared to be a small gun, probably one of the six pounders found on either the quarter deck or forecastle. Scuppers were made of lead and they were used to drain unwanted water from the decks out through the side of the hull. The length of the scupper represents the width of the side of the hull. I'm trying to say that the lead scupper is evident that hull structure has been on the seabed. Oh, 
This is in fact one half of a rotary hand mill, also known as a quern, for grinding grain to make flour. A similar example has been found on a Cromwellian shipwreck off Duet Point in the Sound of Mole. This is probably a stone for sharpening tools on board the ship, and Ian will describe and explain this later. To sum up, we had a really successful day's diving. We can confirm that we have found a new area of wreck material between the 2014 and 2019 gun site, consisting of at least two new iron guns, probably six pounders from the quarter and forecastle decks, and lead scupper, demonstrating that there has been a whole structure on the seabed, and also two circular stones. One for grinding corn or grain and the other for sharpening tools.